How do vaccinations work? This is what this four marker is all about. So it says gonorrhea is a bacterial disease. A new vaccine is being developed against gonorrhea. Describe how a vaccine would work to prevent gonorrhea. So what is a vaccine? When you inject yourself with a vaccine, what you're doing is you're introducing dead or inactive pathogens. That's one mark. So you've basically got the dead or inactive version of gonorrhea in your body. That's what's been injected. So what's going to happen here? Your body is going to recognize that and it's going to think it's actually a bacteria that's attacking the body, even though it's dead or inactive. So what's going to happen? It's going to trigger an immune response. Your body's going to fight against it as if it's a real bacteria that's trying to harm you. So what's going to happen is your white blood cells, your lymphocytes are going to produce antibodies to fight off this pathogen. So white blood cells, or you could say lymphocytes, produce antibodies to fight off the bacteria. Okay, so what happens next? We still need two more marks. Once it's eradicated those bacteria, the ones from the vaccine, it now doesn't need those lymphocytes, the ones that produce the antibodies. Okay, so those lymphocytes basically die out. Most of them die out because there's no need for them. But a few remain after. Those are called memory cells. Those lymphocytes that have the correct antibodies to fight the gonorrhea bacteria are known as memory cells. And what they can do is if the same disease or the actual disease this time, so the non-dead version, the actual version of gonorrhea was to enter the body, then those memory cells have the correct antibodies to kill the gonorrhea bacteria. And what it does is if it does appear in the body, it rapidly produces the antibodies so much that the bacteria doesn't have enough time to reproduce to make you feel ill. So it eradicates the bacteria before you even get any symptoms. So at that point, you say that the person is immune to the disease. So how do we set all of this for two marks? You could say some white blood cells remain as memory cells. So if the person is re-exposed to the bacteria, the memory cells rapidly produce the antibodies to kill the bacteria before they cause the disease. I've gone over the lines a bit, but there you go, four points, four marks.